Hello, and welcome to Hams Radio. I am Hams. Whether you are a new or returning viewer, I just wanted to thank you for your support. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about finding a life after trauma. I will be showing the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to my own healing journey in hopes that it will help you in yours. If that sounds like something that would add some positivity to your life, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you don't miss out when I'm producing new content. I'm emphasizing, emphasizing the bell right now because this will be the last video I make for a while. Um, when I leave for my Peru trip tomorrow, I'm doing a no contact with anybody, anybody from my life as it is right now. Um, I need some time, I need some space to really figure out who Rebecca is, who I am, and with how my trauma formed me to be a people pleaser, I subconsciously still, I, I notice that I do it, I subconsciously still cater to everyone around me. And especially if it's long-term relationships like family or long-term friends, I'm finding myself a little bit more, um, finding it a little bit more difficult to maintain what I believe I need to maintain for myself at this time. So when I'm going to Peru and then I've added a Belize trip um, after Peru and Doing this no contact will just, like I said, like allow me to really look at myself outside of any pull from the past or current life. It's This isn't a fuck everyone kind of tone. I just know that I still have some anxiety from just needing to be of service to people. And I just need time to develop my new boundaries, my habits, everything I wanna um, do in life. I don't know where I was going with that. I forgot what I was talking about. So moving on. Um, so I really just wanted to say thank you for everyone who has supported this channel, um, whether it be through my Instagram, in person, um, YouTube, Facebook, whatever it may be. Um, I was blown away by the support. I was blown away by the comments and it, even like people I don't know or friends of friends or friends of, of family. And um, it just, it, it just felt good to give back in the way I was hoping to give back. And I, I was able to do that. And so I wanna thank everyone who's who's stuck around, um, watched some videos. I know some of my content um, may, may point out some areas that you may be struggling with. Um, I do wanna just remind you that no matter what you believe, no matter how you were treated, no matter what trauma you went through, remember that you are loved, you are worthy, you are worthy of love, you are lovable. No one can ever do anything to take that away from you. You will always be worthy. There is nothing of value outside of who you are. Your value is not connected to your lifestyle. Your worthiness isn't connected to the amount of money you make. The world has done a fantastic job at making people believe that if only they had enough, they would be happy. If only they had that new electronic, if only they had that bigger house, if only they had more stuff. If only they bought more stuff, they would be happy. When in reality, it's not anything outside of yourself that gives you value, it's literally you. You are the value. You, 
you are worthy. Anything outside of yourself doesn't add or take away value from you. As I said, my goal will be trying to help people love themselves. I think everyone deserves to love themselves. I think everyone deserves to truly get to know themselves. Um, I know what I'm doing is, is pretty extreme, but I challenge you this year, if you're making New Year's resolutions, I challenge yourself to, to make yourself a priority this year. Do that class you've wanted to do. Learn that skill you wanted to learn. Take that gardening class, take that dance class, take an auto mechanic class, take whatever class you want. Learn how to ride a bike, a motorcycle. Learn how to, <clears throat> I don't know, like go skydiving. Do something for you just for the hell of it. Do something that just makes you happy. Make yourself a priority. Set some time aside for you because you deserve it. You are not responsible for other people's emotional wounds. You have to tend to your own emotional wound, whatever that might be. If it's little, big, attend to it. And then you can start healing people around you. Then you can start working on people around you. So, there, I don't, yeah, so thank you for, for your support and everything. Um, it means a lot. Um, so go in no contact with anybody, go in no contact at all from anybody in, in my current or past life. Um, YouTube, whenever I come back, make sure the bell's on so that when I do come back, you're notified and start telling of all my adventures this year. Um, yeah, this is going to be a hell of a, hell of a trip, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm being called to it. And it's, it's this feeling I get that, that what I, I call is the pull of the soul. So you have the pull of the soul and the pull of the personality. And th again, this is what I'm referring it to you, the pull, it's to the pull of the soul to me is, it's more of a lighter kind of tug, like positive tug that I'm feeling. And I've come to learn that, or at least right now, it's letting me know the decision or the step in front of me is going to help me get to my current goal. It's going to help me um, along the path that I want to stick to. Pull of the personality is going to be these old habits, these behaviors that I've been trying to get away from, these um, trauma responses. And it will be decisions that will satisfy the ego, the personality. Um, it's that pull of needing more, that um, wanting more, thinking that they're never good enough, all that negative self-talk. That's the pull of the personality. And that feeling is more like someone's hanging onto my chest and they're just pulling down, pulling me down. So it's not quite a drowning feel. It's, it's more of a super anxious feeling just all in my chest and I just, I don't feel good. It's not a good feeling. So the pull of the soul, pull of the personality, I'm really differentiating um, the feel of both of them and the pull of the soul for me right now is taking me to Belize. So after Peru, I go to Belize. I think, who knows like where this will take me to be honest, I have no idea but I'm looking forward to it. Whatever happens, happens. Um, I've sold all my things or given all my things away. All I have with me is my, my small suitcase, my backpack and a fanny pack, and everything else is gone. I've sold both bikes, so. It is time to really see what I am all about.
I'm super excited. Um, that is all I have. I hope everyone enjoys the holidays, Christmas, New Year's, all the holidays of next year. And I will see you guys when I am back. Bye.